Welcome back to the vlog. We're doing some volunteer work installing uh, some internet for a wonderful nonprofit organization called World Bird Sanctuary, St. Louis, Missouri. I just got off the plane from Texas. Very cold, 50 degrees, and have a jacket. And I want to go to Waffle House, but there must have been a fight. So I went to the hotel instead and started working on some network gear configuration uh, to about 3 a.m. I didn't have time to get this done beforehand because I was doing a subathon at Alveus and we're going to bed. Good night. All right, pause the video here if you want to see this, but it's just a network diagram of what we're doing out at World Bird Sanctuary. We are taking the Starlink internet from here and distributing it around the facility with wireless radios. Think of them as wireless ethernet cables that need line of sight to connect. Hello from my desk. I forgot to tell you guys why we're doing this in the first place. And World Bird Sanctuary for years have been trying to get major internet service providers to bring internet to their location. And they're close to major developments and metropolitan areas. But these made, these uh, service providers were wanting to charge them at minimum $40,000. There were some quotes I was getting for 80 to 100K to bring out decent internet, which is crazy. Uh, plus a very steep monthly service charge uh, for, you know, a five year contract. It was it was wild. And so they were forced for the longest time into having very expensive subpar satellite internet, um, two or three units for 150 or $200 a month, maybe $250 a month. They had data caps that they were hitting all the time. And when they did have speeds, it was dial up speeds or less than dial up speeds. It was bad. So a year ago, we decided to try out Starlink out there. It worked really well for them. Uh, and that is now costing them like $200 a month and significantly cheaper, providing a lot more internet. And um, now they can, um, now we're distributing the internet throughout their entire facility and they can function like they should be able to in the 21st century. All right, that was a quick update. Okay, bye. What are you doing right now, Mick? Wait for you. For the vlog. Oh, I'm just putting in radios for a little bird sanctuary. Firing up some internet out here for these guys. We're taking a quick lunch break. Vlogging. Yeah. My food was way too hot to finish, my mistake. So this is a very difficult install because we can't run ethernet cables around, which is more ideal because there's concrete everywhere and the birds don't like it. And we don't have much time. We're only here for two and a half days. We're putting in these wireless radios. We had some deer showing up to help us do the install and we're at World Bird Sanctuary. So of course we'll have some birds here soon. You'll see them a little bit later in the video did the gift shop networking, got everything up and running, got them some Wi-Fi. It's kind of hard to do nice cable management without like a network rack, just wasn't the space for it. May do it with what we had. So now we're taking the internet and shooting it over to the hospital, which very much needed really good internet. And at this point, Red Bull is just a part of the brand, just helps us keep working really late. A nice little map to show you like the upper and lower sites. And we went down to the lower site here to see Alejandro, a beautiful harpy eagle. He's so sweet, beautiful, and very heavy. Those talons are meant for hunting monkeys in the South American rainforest. So now we have to take the internet from the upper site down to the lower site, which is very difficult to do. Any sort of internet down there is pretty much impossible, except for this. These large antennas are generally seen on sides of cell phone towers, but we're able to get internet down to the lower site and really, really good signal. And then we take that internet and distribute it throughout the whole lower site. Robin, you're vlogging. That's what we're doing. Are, are we live right now? No. I wish I got more B-roll. This is actually just the last day, like the last little bit of the install. Um, at 10 o'clock at night, we had some issues. Shout out to Echoscope for helping fix some uh, major issues there and helped me get through that. But we were get, got the job done just in the nick of time. And this is kind of funny. I had the great idea to try to do the snap thing and I forgot to record the footage of the after once it was nice and pretty. World Bird Sanctuary is absolutely beautiful. They do an amazing job educating, uh, not just about birds of prey, but about our natural world in general. You love snakes. Say, I love snakes. Snakes are great. Yeah. No, you you can't be a part of Window to Wildlife unless you like snakes. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. They do a great job of conservation, education, and rehabilitation. There is a great horned owl, barn owl, eastern screech owl, 
Bald Eagle, Wedgetail Eagle, Honey Owl. This is Sophia, the Bearded Vulture's brand new enclosure. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vulture. Dynasty, the Egyptian Vulture. Brahma, the Red-Headed Vulture. Andean Condors, Eurasian Eagle Owl. There's Alejandro building his nest. Cenarius Vulture, Hooded Vulture, Ibises, Spectacle Owls, <laughs> Battlear Eagle, so cute. World Bird Sanctuary do an amazing job for conservation, education, and rehabilitation. A year ago, we installed Starling Forum and it became a very viable option. And this year, uh, we decided to distribute it around their facility so they could have online medical documentation for all their birds and all their medical notes. So uh, really happy that we could help World Bird Sanctuary out and get this project done. Went to Home Depot, did some returns, Nick's a goofball. I had to babysit him, make sure he could uh, get it all done so we could get on the road to the airport. Do something goofy. Do something goofy. Thanks for watching the vlog. Like, subscribe. Bye.